mirrors. Do they actually increase light? The answer is yes. However, there are some dangers you may wanna think about before you go this route. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about mirrors and how they may or may not benefit your seedling startup, your house plants, or anything else in between. This was a request by someone on the Geek Crew, and if you wanna know how to join the Geek Crew, all you do is hit the subscribe button. You do not have to hit the join button. You do not have to join the paid version. It's just the subscribe button, and 67% of you are not uh, clicked on, which I mean, I don't blame you. I, I would second guess my life if I did as well. However, if you do, and I see that you're subscribed because I, I can actually see that when you comment, your suggestion gets put on the list and said list eventually makes it onto the big screen or your little screen, depending on how you usually watch these videos. So it turns out anything that reflects light does increase the light exposure to the plant. Now it doesn't increase the amount of light. It just kind of reflects what was missed by the chlorophyll or the plant capture and then reutilized. However, despite that, it has been shown to, you know, decrease, for example, your energy bill. So while mirrors can do this, mylar can do this, tinfoil can do this, white paint can even do this. I mean, the list is like truly endless on what can reflect light. This is actually the reason why when I tell you to do solarization of your soil, not to use black tarps. While you can use black tarps, you want to preferably use clear ones because you want to capture and hold the light and cook the bejeebus out of the soil versus just letting it be reflected off or some of it being reflected off anyways, which is the case depending on the color of your tarp you're using. So let's talk about mirrors first before we talk about mylar. Now mirrors in particular are incredibly reflective and you can get magnifying mirrors and regular mirrors and a whole bunch of different sorts. Now magnifying mirrors you do want to try to stay away from because they actually may intensify the light in some ways. The other thing to watch out for is hot spot. This might just be a redhead child issue but if you've ever sent ant friends to heaven as a child you know that mirrors Magnifying glasses and mirrors are two ways to do this. And it's because you can focus light in a very specific spot. I think preppers out there even can use mirrors to like cook or start a fire. Anyways, mirrors are very powerful in this sense. And we see them even around solar farms, for example. I was driving through Death Valley months back and there was a mirror system around a solar farm. It was actually pretty cool. You could see it from a million miles away. I was completely confused as to what it was for the longest time until we got a little bit closer. And they're using mirrors to reflect light back. The issue, the only issue again, is the fact that you can end up with hot spots. It can be very direct and very powerful. So if you go this route, you may want to think about that and take that into consideration. And this is particularly true if you're using houseplants that are used to less bright areas or shadier spaces. Now, the other downfall is the fact that they're heavy and they break. Obviously, there's a little bit of danger there. And that is why Mylar was invented. So Mylar is that tinfoil type looking stuff that you see on the insides of grow tents. You sometimes will see them in grow rooms. And essentially what it is, is it's a reflective material that is much lighter, obviously much more durable, and it doesn't have the hot spot effect because of the fact that it doesn't reflect very focused forms of light back at the plant. And it actually does save you energy. It's something like 97% more effective. So you can actually use this mylar without having as many grow lights and you can grow more food or healthier food. Or in the case of anyone who wants to start seeds early, as in like right now, and you don't have a greenhouse or you have to, you know, be able to keep them indoors for a while, this mylar will allow you to achieve that. The other thing you could use is tinfoil or white paint. So these are two free forms to achieve this. So this wall behind me, despite the fact that I swear it looks orange, yellow on the camera, it's white. The whole room is actually white. And this is my plant room. And this is the only room in the entire house that is white and it's because I have plants in it and that's why I can't paint it. Otherwise it would be purple like the rest of my house. Yes, that's right, my house is purple. Don't judge me, it's pretty. Okay, it's pretty and it's my favorite color. Now with that being said, if we go the route for a seed starting setup where we use tinfoil or we use mylar or, and if you use tinfoil, keep in mind, 
I believe they have an affinity to start fires. So please look that up before you go that route. I think that's why you're not allowed to have it in your windows. Not 100%, pretty sure. The reason why it is in windows is because it reflects the light outward. Mylar actually is also what's on those um, things that your parents used to put in the front window to keep the heat out of the vehicle. That thing, while it was parked, yeah, that has Mylar on it as well for this reason. And that's why you should always have the Mylar facing out, not in. Fun fact. So while this is useful in seed starting setups or house plants or anything else like that, it actually can be transferred into outdoor settings as well. So there was a study done on trees, particularly they were little seedlings of trees and they actually applied different forms of mulch. Now, one of the forms of mulch was, is just a reflective material and they angled it so it was going back up into the canopy of the tree. And there was a 160% higher survival rate for the seedlings that were in a space that had this reflective material. Which means if you were choosing a mulch, for example, with your plants and you were in a shadier spot that you don't want to be sh shady, you could consider a white plastic or a lighter co colored mulch, which would reflect the light back up, keep the soil cooler, um, because it's not absorbing the heat, but also would give the plants themselves a little bit more access to light. So other than that, it's pretty basic stuff. There's no specific way to install this. You wanna put it on the bottom, you wanna put it on the sides, you wanna put it on the top. You wanna to just kinda of cover the whole space so that it just bounces around and your lights can, or your lights, your plants can pick it up. It's a great question. There's no such thing as a dumb question. I know that some of you hesitated to ask this question because you're like, there's just no way. If everyone, if it worked, everyone would be doing it and people do do it, but they do it with Mylar. Now me, myself, and I don't have a lot of mirrors in my home. I don't use mirrors in any of my plant rooms or with any of my seedlings, uh, but I do use Mylar. Now, if you wanna know what seedlings to start in December, January, in these early months, even in a colder climate, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video right here. And that's what Google says you should watch. So listen to what they say. They are our overlords. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.